At a time when people across this country are talking at length about harassment and coming forward, the talk became even louder today on Parliament Hill. Liberal leader Justin Trudeau announced that he has suspended two of his MPs after allegations of personal misconduct were leveled against them. The accusers are also MPs from another party. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky has the details. Terry. Well, Peter, MPs work in an antique world where normal rules don't apply. Sticky issues like expense claims or harassment are all dealt with behind closed doors in a secretive committee of fellow MPs. It's a black hole of accountability. And when MPs are accused of harassing other MPs, they are not talkative. Any comments, sir? One by one, normally chatty Liberal MPs filed out of their caucus meeting without saying a word. No one wanted to explain why two of their number just got the boot. As a leader, I have a responsibility, a duty to act. Justin Trudeau kicked the two MPs out of caucus. Scott Andrews from Newfoundland and Massimo Pacchetti from Montreal. Both say they're confident they will be cleared. But for now, they're suspended pending an investigation of, well, what exactly? These two members of parliament have been accused of serious personal misconduct by members of parliament from another party. Trudeau did not say what misconduct is alleged, nor will anyone else. CBC News has learned the two MPs complaining are both female NDPers, but they're not talking and the NDP won't name them. Here on Parliament Hill and in every workplace, women have a right to be in a secure work environment. Everyone who works in these places has a right to be in a secure work environment free of harassment. So what now? The Speaker of the House has sent it to the Board of Internal Economy, the committee of MPs which handles House business in secret. Not exactly a transparent process. Look, folks, it's 2014. Um, it's time that this uh, workplace, like other workplaces across the country, had a process uh, whereby these issues can be aired and uh, dealt with. Well, it appears that there might be a, a bit of a black hole there right now. This legal expert says the House committee is too political to do a fair investigation. It doesn't look like the process that is set up here, which is referring it to the Board of Internal Economy, uh, allows for that type of independent investigation. Other experts say the accusers could ask the House to act, but only if they go public. They can rise in the House in a point of privilege and uh, bring the matter to the attention of the House in the hope that the House will take some action. Now, Parliament is not the boys' club that it used to be. In the last election, there was a big influx of young women, mostly in the NDP. But some things have not changed. The accusers still don't feel comfortable going public, Peter. All right, Terry, thank you. Terry Molesky in Ottawa.